Hello everyone, welcome to GrowMed. Welcome back to another series of buzzwords where we are discussing some important hint words or the keywords which you need to find in the clinical cases and these hint words will help you uh, to reach the diagnosis okay from the given options so it is very simple and very easier and it is quite helpful in the last minute also okay so we will be discussing of hematology cases in this video because this is a very important topic and frequently questions are repeated on this hematology so the common clinical features which can be described in the case are the fever weight loss fatigue and paler okay so these are the common features and they can be described in any of the hemat cases so these are not specific the things which are specific and which will help you to uh, identify what is the diagnosis we will look at them now if in the question in a clinical case if things are described like hemoglobin is less or anemia they can write any of the thing then tlc less platelets are also less okay all the three things are reduced or in short they can also write pancytopenia okay so whenever you find this pancytopenia and on bone marrow examination you find myeloid is to erythros erythroid ratio increased then the answer will be okay take two minutes think what can be the answer uh, 30 seconds think what can be the answer and then answer it by yourself okay so the answer is the aplastic anemia okay so all the things will be reduced in case of this aplastic anemia then moving on to the next question middle aged man and with hypercalcemia and renal insufficiency will be given in the question the other things which will help you to reach the diagnosis are the anemia rbc's will be decreased or uh, anemia okay and they can also describe like on blood examination or on blood investigation you find that the rbc's are reduced or directly directly they'll give anemia okay then the important things are this x-ray multiple bony lytic lesions this is one hint word which you must look at in the question and another are this russell body and the dutcher body and image based questions can also be asked on this so you need to look at the images also okay and the diagnosis of this one will be the multiple myeloma and also questions are asked on the investigation of choice of the multiple myeloma which is the serum electrophoresis okay in this the immunoglobulin g will be increased immunoglobulin igg and on electrophoresis you can see a spike called as the m spike okay so these are also the two important things which you must remember from this multiple myeloma okay so look at the question they can be also described sometimes about the elderly man also regarding this multiple myeloma okay and whenever you see this x-ray multiple bony lytic lesions um read the question twice because uh, you know there are uh, another important thing which can be uh, confused with this is the osteoblastic lesions so this osteolytic means it will be multiple myeloma if it is osteoblastic then uh, the answer can be the ca prostate okay so cancer prostate ke wajah se there will be metastasis to the vertebral column and it can give osteoblastic changes and sometimes this also can be described in the question so because elderly male elderly male so it can get confused okay then moving on elderly ma man uh, with increased wbc and mpo and gum bleeding so what is the diagnosis it is the aml acute myeloid leukemia okay so how do you identify that what leukemia it is whether it is myeloid or it is lymphoid see you need to look at the cell count which are increased if the myeloids are increased and if it is mpo positive then it will be the myeloid which will be the causative uh, or what the disease okay it will be the myeloid disease if the lymphocytes are increased then the disease will be the leukemia okay uh, sorry lymphoid leukemia okay so myeloid leukemia and the lymphoid leukemia by looking at the cells you can easily come to know now speaking about the acute and the chronic how can you identify between these things so if it is chronic then you can see various other changes 
a native like the splenomegaly okay a splenony hepatomegaly and splenomegaly also okay there can be organomegaly seen with this chronic and the patient will be having a chronic history but acute means it will be like sudden anemia and sudden reduction in the wbc and the platelets okay something like that so those things will be described in the question and by looking at this you can easily come to know by ruling the options and by connecting the questions uh, things asked in the question okay so moving on to the next question a child with fever and petechiae and you can see paler and hepatosplenomegaly and sternal tenderness okay so do look at this sternal tenderness because this is the hint mark and the most common association of this one is the ALL acute lymphoid leukemia and also keep one thing in mind that looking at the age group you can also come to know that uh, what can be the diagnosis like if it is elderly then the most common association is the CML CML and if if it is the child then the most common type of uh, uh, lymphoma leukemia seen in them is the ALL and sternal tenderness is another very important finding seen with this ALL so you can remember like a adult to adult ka hai ka C and C ka hoga A S A uh, opposite karke to A C C A S A karke will be easily able, uh, able to remember this thing then moving on to the next clinical case so a child uh, the age of the child can be described between the 10 to 15 years with a swollen knee and history of trauma so what will be the uh, disease uh, and it is the hemophilia so this is a repeat topic hemophilia and also questions are asked on the factor deficient like they can give all these cases and they can ask what is the cause so if they ask what is the cause then in the option you need to look at the factor 8 deficiency or factor 9 or factor 10 deficiency whichever is there you need to choose it or if they ask for the diagnosis so this will be the hemophilia okay then the next question so child with anemia and hepatosplenomegaly you can see malar eminence prominence and on a peripheral blood smear you can see target cells see these two are the most important uh, things which you need to look on these are the hint words which can be given in the question so these all things are the common now these are can be seen with, with any other things also but malar eminence and prominence with the target cells it is classical finding seen with the thalassemia okay so thalassemia questions are asked like uh, what is the investigation of choice for this thalassemia or also questions can be asked what is the genetic mutation uh, for this thalassemia okay and these can be asked in integration with the patho also so do look at the uh, thalassemia or the things very uh, perfectly then a patient with fatigue pallor and on hemoglobin on examination you can see the hemoglobin is 5.8 mg decrease in the ferritin increase in the tibc decrease in the mcv and uh, red cell width so this one is also increased and you can see here one hint mark is given here and another one is here so uh, these are the common things right this can be seen with any other thing but how you can identify what is this uh, cause so you need to look at the hemoglobin first of all the patient is having anemia now which type of anemia it will be so it will be the ferret uh, iron deficiency anemia because the ferritin is reduced and ferritin is a hallmark feature for this iron deficiency anemia okay so this is a one-liner asked in the pathology that marker for the iron deficiency so it is the ferritin and you need to remember this one okay so the diagnosis is the iron deficiency anemia and we all know that we will be giving the uh, iron supplements for the patient so this is the treatment modality and questions can also be asked like this a patient with fatigue lethargy and pallor uh, with hemoglobin 5.6 gram per dl uh, and on uh, biochemistry uh, examinations can be given like to make the questions lengthy you know they can describe that a patient with so and so features with hemoglobin came to uh, and on routine investigations or something like that you can see increase in the indirect bilirubin and the patient complains of right index finger 
pain okay so this is a pyq asked in the jan 24 and uh, the answer is the sickle cell crisis okay so this is the answer because see because of the crisis means because of the clumping of these rbcs at a place that is the right index finger the blood supply to the finger is hampered due to which the patient is feeling pain and uh, there are various other things described in the option like thalassemia then hemophilia and one other some option was there and in the sickle cell crisis was also there and sickle cell crisis were, was more likely matching to the question so uh, that was the answer okay so if at all some other cases come in the exam in this exam uh, there's no need to worry ki ye maine kabhi padha nahi i don't know this just try to read what is given in the question look at the hint words and look at the things which can be like uh, specific with a particular disease and from the options try to rule it out like for example now if we speak about the all you don't know much about it the all but let's look at the history like the child then the sternal tenderness and what happens in uh, leukemia so there will be decrease in the wbcs anemia will be there okay like this and you can see various options described like to rule try to rule out by matching the options match the options whether that this is suiting with the uh, case described above and if you do this method no it will be very easier for you to uh, also solve the questions matlab there's no need to mug up all the things uh, for the clinical case and if any new clinical case comes also you can be easily uh, you will be easily able to handle it okay so that's all in this video guys these were some important hematological conditions and the clinical cases which and this was a pyq all these are the pyqs so expecting a question from this hematology so do watch all the things from this hematology thank you so much for watching this video comment below how do you find this video is it helpful to you all and should i continue with this series for more uh, amazing things related to the fmg join with me on the telegram channel thank you so much for watching this video guys i am dr padmini your mentor for the fmg once again thank you bye bye